Okay, hi guys. Um, this video is an introduction um, for you if you are new to the school or new to a Casio um, and you just want to get some um, basics on how to get yourself around and navigating it. So the learning goal is to use your calculator to maximize work, efficient, uh, work efficiency and then by the end of this you should be able to use your calculator for a variety of um, functions, mainly basic functions. So the calculator that is prescribed here at our school is the Casio FX82 AU plus oop, plus two. Um, if you don't have one that has a plus two, that's okay. It just has some different functions um, and you'll be fine. Um, it won't stop you from maximizing still reading to your learning goal of these basic functions. Okay, so we're going to go through just the basics to start off with. You turn your calculator on, you hit that on button. Um, mine is on the screen, so you, you can't see that. Um, and then you um, have some keypad numbers. There's your decimal, so if you want to write 1.5, um, and your functions, so forth. Yep. If you're going to do orders of operation, so um, you might have basics, orders of operation. Now, this is the reason why I'm going through this is because the amount of time um, students don't put their calculator um, orders of operation properly into their calculator, and as a result, get some funky answer and. Um, they don't get awarded the full marks even though they have demonstrated that they understand the processes that they are doing in math. So say seven, um, I can put a bracket just here plus these two numbers equals and it's still multiply. Your calculator is savvy enough to know that just um, that everything in this bracket has been multiplied by that seven um, so you don't have to write that in. Um, that's just a trick cheat to make you work more efficiently, um, to improve your efficiency. So there's your orders of operation. Now, um, most of the time we might have numbers that are fractions or decimals. So you might put 0 0.5 in um, and you want to know what it is as a fraction or um, what's in a decimal. So you can go to fraction, um, you just hit the equal sign and it comes up on your screen here. Um, then you hit this well, sorry, 0.5 equals, then you hit your SD button. Now, I call it standard decimal, um, but it is there to allow you to go from this version to this version. Um, say you were using an improper fraction, so 15, uh, by 4 equals 3.75. It'll bring it up as 15 over 4. You can hit the shift button and hit that SD button again and it'll bring it up as its mixed number. So 3 whole and 3 quarters. So that's that one there. That's your fractions. That's the SD button. That is your friend. So you see if you can convert. Then there's the actual fraction button. So this is the button with um, two squares here um, with the vaniculum. So that's the line that's in there. So you can fill it in this way. One using your keypad half equals and then hit your SD or you could go say 4 over 8 equals and look it gives you the equivalent fraction and 0.5 so that is that one now the other basic functions that I'll show you are this one here this is your square root button so finding what number multiplied by itself will give us 25 that's five. Um, above it is the cubed root, so the cube root of eight is going to be two. Um, and if you're actually looking just for something that's a bit more random, you can use this one. Oh, sorry, shift there and say the fourth root of um, sixteen. There you go. 
um, you would have noticed that when I'm doing that, I'm actually hitting this shift key. So shift corresponds to the yellow above. I should have told you that, told you that first. And the alpha corresponds to the red above. So at the moment, that helps you with those. Um, this button here is to the power of like squared. So 5 squared equals 25. Um, it could also be if you wanted to find um, 2 to the power of 22. And it's there. So um, you could put that in this way as well. Like say 4 to the power of 8 equals and so forth. Um, Depending on how you've got your calculator set up, you can use your replay to go through your answers that you've logged. I haven't got that on mine. Um, I will do another video just for statistic stuff, um, probably a bit later on in the year. Um, apart from that, that should be the basics to get you started for um, mathematics at school using your Casio FX82 AU Plus 2. Okay, guys. Thanks. Bye.